spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. Hey, you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. And make sure to leave me a like and a comment down below right now. Today we're going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. And I just pulled out a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. And I just feel like my first love is drugstore. So I'm going to share drugstore slash affordable products with you guys. Minus the brows because... I don't have no brow pencils that are drugstore or affordable. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't go nowhere. Keep watching. I do have some lip balm on, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Black Radiance from Daily Butterbee Moisturizer. You guys know I got this from Black Radiance. They sent it over to me. I love the smell. I love the feel. And I don't want to do nothing crazy today because we got some places to go. We're going to go ahead and pop on our F Do Primer. This is almost like a drugstore makeup tutorial for on the products that I just love. I love it. Y'all know my heart is with drugstore. You guys, this feels so good. I love this primer. It gets stuck right where I need it to be. All right, so we're back. Got the eyebrows on. We're gonna go in. You guys, I am washing a lot of my brushes right now. So, girl, a lot of my stuff is like, where is she? Okay. All right, we're gonna use this P. Louise flat brush. We're gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible. This one is in Almond. But we are using the <clears throat> ColourPop Nude Mood. I got this a long time ago. Well, I'm, I'm going to say within the last year and never used it. So I decided I'm going to play with it. And the first shade that I'm dipping off into is Bear, Bear to Wear. And I've been wanting to try this palette because it's such a nice everyday type of palette as well as a great bridal palette like it is really simple but yet beautiful this is like you don't need too much but you want that little uh, that's what this palette reminds me of so I'm gonna dip off into all natural and I'm using the morphe 533 m 533 brush and I like to use little to no brushes when doing a look lately I don't know you guys all last year y'all should probably have seen me use like two to three brushes for a full look and it, I just love it I learned that from Andrea Renee I'm not even gonna hold you guys and I'm taking it right there in the crease and fading it upward into the bear to wear and I'm lightly blending because I don't want it to be like a harsh look. I just want it real simple and cute. The pattern game hasn't changed for me, won't change for me. I love to pat on my colors first and then blend. But since we're in the new year, I would love for you guys to tell me what kind of products would you like me to review here on my channel? Would you like me to A, stick towards drugstore reviews? B, stick to high-end reviews, or C, do a mixture of both. I kind of want to put myself on a budget when it comes to buying makeup and reviewing it just because I used to go so ham with all kinds of new 
releases and new products but wasn't getting you know as many views so I was like you know I'm really wasting my time and money so I want to get your opinion you guys can leave me those type of comments like hey the new KVD beauty is out you know or hey Colourpop just dropped a new collection are you gonna review it will you review it can you review it you know what I'm saying I'm here for that y'all could tell me what you would like to see and I'm gonna do it so I'm dusting off whatever remainder of all natural and I'm gonna tap into bare to wear and just lightly go right in between the two so we are gonna take just a tad bit of moody with that same brush and we're gonna pop her in I feel like I should do a shimmer but I'm not quite for sure you guys it is 43 degrees out here in Texas I'm so excited if you guys are from Texas or ever heard of anybody from Texas you know Texas is like the hottest place besides like Arizona and Vegas like we never get cold Ugh. and it just feels so good to actually have some cold weather we're just gonna take a little bit because I don't really want it to be something harsh I really don't I want it to stay light We really need to get into like brown liners, something real soft, because this look would look good with a soft liner. We are gonna finish like underneath the eyes and stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to our foundation so that everything could start looking more put together. We do have the L'Oreal Infallible. You guys, this would never, change for me okay you guys seen me rock this all of 2020 and she comes into 2021 with us this is the shade deep golden you guys know i love deep golden like this is my foundation i am gonna take a small pump and we're gonna clean up the top of our brow real quick before we start going in with foundation So have y'all started following me on Instagram yet? Instagram has quickly became life to me. We're gonna move on to the concealer. Once again, L'Oreal Almond. These two are match made in heaven. Both of them are infallible. Both of them are full wear. So I love pairing them together. Gonna let it sit for a minute. Girl, don't she look flawless? All right, so before we go into setting, I'm gonna take that same eyeshadow brush and we're gonna take, we're gonna go ahead and take Coco. And we're just gonna place her 
on the bottom part of her eye. And she has a little shimmer in her. So that's why we're like placing before blending and make sure she connects with your outer V. So we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Y'all know this is my ride or die too. This one's in there, I love that. This one is in medium deep. And you don't need a lot because it can get cakey really fast. And I learned if you keep your powder more so, more so towards the tip of the beauty blender, it comes out in like the direct spots you would want it to come out and not on extra spots that you don't want it to come out. Now we're gonna go in with the Ruby Kisses. And this one is in deep chestnut. No, in chestnut, just chestnut. And we're gonna take our Morphe G36 and we're gonna set everywhere else that we didn't set with the concealer and powder. Am I too low, you guys? Uh, feel like I'm too low. Y'all know I like to pat everything in. I'd rather stipple it in than to swipe and move the foundation and all everywhere. Hey, Buddha. You say hi? You say hi? All right, so now we're going to move on to our Morphe Glamour Bronze in Leader. This is one of my favorite bronzers. Place high on our cheekbone in a low angle. Oh, and this brush is just a fluffy brush that I got from Five Below. We're just gonna place and bring it up. See how it keeps us more lifted. I do want to spray my face. You know what? Let me put a little bit of blush on before I spray my face. I'm going to use my Black Radiance um, Baked Bronzer, Baked Blush, and Toasted Almond. I'm going to take my G36 and just stipple some right here just to bronze a little bit. I mean, just to give it a little bit more of a definition to that bronzer. I love this baked blush. It has always been one of my favorite colors. Let's just go ahead and keep everything matte. We're going to use the Creme Shop I Am Silky Matte Setting Spray. Do we even want highlight today? I don't think so. We're gonna take the Bambi Eye by L'Oreal and we're gonna pop this on our lashes. These are my lavish on a budget and I'm thinking about these right here. I will put the name of them across the top, across the screen, because I do have names for it, but my name is not on my personal package. It's on you guys' packages. And we're back with the lashes. For some reason, these are the same two lashes, but for some reason, this one looks a little bit more spaced out than this one. And I don't know why, but trust me, you guys, these are the exact same lashes. And you push the corners up, and baby, it lifts your eyes. Oh, this look is coming out bomb. Okay, so we have two lip liners that are from my Amazon. I found these on Amazon, and they are linked in my Amazon storefront. I got like 
50, 50 to 100 of them for like 10 bucks. Y'all, and these are some good ass lip liners. They have all kinds of shades. So the two that I have, this one right here is black brown, which is a deeper brown. And then this one is mocha, which is a lighter brown. So I think I'm gonna put mocha like in the center area of my lip. Like right off in here. And I wanna go over this with, ooh, with the black brown. And we're gonna give it that definition off in the corners. Overline your lips just a little bit while bringing that liner into your lip. Go out, outside of your lip and bring it in some. And when you go to put on your liquid lipstick or your regular lipstick, it all blends in just right. We're gonna go in with the Morphe lipstick and this is the Rouge Mega Matte Lipstick and Confess. It's a beautiful brown. Uh, Y'all, don't you just hate when your nose run while you're doing your makeup? Girl, nose be doing all kinds of things. Girl, this look is given. Oh, I forgot. I do want to put my Swipe Right Brow Gel on my brows because I just can't live without it. And it's from the Crumb Shop. And you guys know I love this stuff. Nothing changed. And there you have it, you guys. That is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Would y'all like to see more looks like this? Or would y'all like for me to go to more dramatic looks? Let your girl know. Thank y'all so much for watching. My camera is going dead. I love you all. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Deuces. Trying to spend the rest of my life with my dad.